everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook a beautiful omelette. Now I'm putting broccoli and shiitake mushrooms and feta in here. It's going to be absolutely stellar. I can't wait. I'm starving and I'm ready to go outside and get some sun and enjoy the weather. But first, I need to eat. So what I'm going to do first is I'm using these really great shiitake mushrooms. I got these locally. They're Ontario shiitake mushrooms. I got them at Harvest Barn Country Markets. Great spot to get your produce, and surprisingly enough, most of the stuff is from a 100 mile radius. They do a really good job at doing that. So I'm just removing the stems because these are a little bit woodier. I'm not using them today, but what I'm gonna do is save these and put them in a resealable plastic bag in the freezer so that when I make soup or something of that nature next time, I'm ready to go. So these guys, I have like three or mm, three, two of them are small, so I'm gonna count them as one. So I'm just gonna slice them up. I've got a small little frying pan preheating here with um, a little bit of olive oil I need. And I just want to preheat that olive oil just a little bit in this pan while I'm chopping these mushrooms. I'm just gonna slice them. I'm making a two egg omelet just for myself. Maybe mom will share it with me. But I like shiitake mushrooms a lot, so we're gonna put a good amount in. When you saute these guys up, they also reduce in size. They uh, lose their water, so that's fabulous. And I'm just gonna saute them quickly. You can put a little salt and pepper if you want, or however you'd like to season them. That's on about a medium heat. Now I have a nice um, head of broccoli, which is also from Ontario. It's also from the Harvest Bar and Country Market. And you can find two of them. One's in St. Catharines and one is in Niagara-on-the-Lake. You can check out some of my reviews for that if you want to, so that you know where I'm getting this stuff from. I'm saving the stalks also for um, a soup or a stock that I'm going to make. Uh, you can put them in the omelet, that's not a big deal, but I kind of just want these little trees. Cutting them up nice and small because I want them to cook with that um, omelet. We're going to throw them in at the last minute with these mushrooms just to get cooked a little bit before I put them in with the egg. We're ready for the broccoli. Next thing's next. I'm going to preheat my pan that I'm going to use. I'm using a small little frying pan for my omelet. Put a little bit of olive oil, just a tiny bit because I'm also going to put some butter in there. You definitely want that buttery goodness when you're making an omelet. Well, I do anyway. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in. That increases the smoke point. Not that I want it really high or I need it to be high, but I don't want it to burn either. Make sure you're tending your mushrooms and broccoli. Now you don't need to cook them completely, you just want to get them started. I like to use a brush to get the whole bottom of my frying pan um, coated, but I'm going to do it right before I um, put my eggs in. So I'm just going to crack two eggs. I like to add just a little bit of milk to my eggs to loosen them up slightly, make them light, lighter and fluffier, I think. I'll whisk those up really good. I'm also going to season that. I already have some freshly cracked pepper done from something earlier, so in fried freshly cracked pepper and just a little bit of salt. I don't like my stuff too salty. I like to whip, whisk them up by hand, but I've also fluffed them up by the, using a blender, and that works lovely, actually. It really gives a lot of um, fluffy nature to your, right now I'm working in the air. The eggs are becoming lighter in color. That's what I want. I want a light, fluffy omelet. My mushrooms and broccoli are almost where I want them to be, so I'm gonna crumble up a little bit of feta cheese. Eyeball it, you know, this isn't an exact measurement. That's what's so beautiful about food. Now, I only used a tiny bit of salt because I knew I'm putting feta in there. Feta actually comes in a brine of salt and water, and it's already salty, so I don't need to add much more salt to my, um, okay, my broccoli and mushrooms, they look great, they're ready to go. So I think I'm ready so to go So my too. frying pan seems to be preheated. I'm just going to move around my um, olive oil and butter mixture. Okay, so I'm going to pour my egg mixture into the pan that's already prepared. <clears throat> Now, in my opinion, making an omelet should go a little bit low and slow. I don't like my egg to be any brown. I don't like brownness on my omelet. I just want it to be cooked through. So that means I have to go a little bit slower or I've got to finish it off in the oven. I hate doing that. So I'm going to do it nice and slow. I have it on, right now on the gas stove anyway, I have it on a medium heat. If I had it on the flat ceramics top, I would probably have it on a medium. Now, I like to start my omelet off as though it's scrambled eggs, sort of. I like to move it around once it gets cooked a little bit and then let the um, uncooked bits 
flow through. As I'm doing that, I'm scraping the egg off the sides so that it comes down. I don't want it to be cooking okay. on the sides. Okay, right? looking like we're there. So now I have sort of cooked eggs throughout, but the mixture is still runny enough that it's filling in all the holes, okay? Now is the time, is the crucial time, where you're gonna add all of your toppings. So in go my mushrooms and my broccoli. I like to put them all on one side. You might that, think that looks like a lot of ingredients to put in there and, and toppings, so to speak, um, but I quite like that. My omelets tend to um, turn out somewhat like a, I don't know, for lack of a better term, like a burrito. I like to have all those ingredients inside and the egg rolled around. I'm just pushing the ingredients into that little bit of wet egg mixture. And what I'm looking for is the bottom to have a nice um, cooked, cooked bit, right? It's gonna be all cooked on the bottom of the one side. And I'm gonna to have to get my spatula underneath. I like to use these guys because they are flexible. So I get it underneath and I flip it over top, okay? As soon as you feel that's ready. Sometimes I like to add um, a pot lid just to keep that heat in and help the top runny mixture cook a little faster. That way it can catch up to the bottom cooking. It's looking lovely. Now it's almost to the point where I'm ready to flip the one side over on itself. The, run the mixture, you can see it's a little bit runny, but it's almost cooked, right? When you flip it over, that heat's gonna stay inside and it's gonna help continue finish cooking. As you can also see, it's coming up from the sides because I made sure that I had enough um, olive oil and butter. But see how it's cooked? It's all holding together. It's time. So let's flip that over on itself ever so gently. You want to keep all those ingredients inside. And that's what you have. I flipped it halfway. So I'm going to move it to the center of my pan now. The other side underneath is cooking well. Put this spot back on for a couple more minutes. And I'm going to get some parsley from my garden. Parsley, ready for garnish at the end. Now's my most adventurous moment. I like to try and flip it on the other side now so that it gets cooked the same way as this side. However, you've got to do this very gently. I have one of these lovely big flippers and that often helps me a lot. So that seals it in a little bit better even. The seam is in the bottom. Here's a little mushroom on the top. Mm. Almost now done. this omelet is ready. It's perfectly cooked. It has no brown bits on it because I don't like that. <laughs> and here it is. See that? Now if you enjoy cooking by yourself, would you enjoy cooking with someone else too? I wanted to tell you this show is brought to you by foodanddating.com where you can meet other foodies like yourself and enjoy cooking together and eating together and talking about food. Some people just don't get it. If you're a foodie, they just look at you like it's just food. But when you're really passionate about food, it's nice to have someone to hang out with that also enjoys it. So I'm just going to garnish it with my fresh parsley from my garden. And voila, there is my fresh uh, broccoli, shiitake mushroom, and feta omelets. I can't wait to eat it. My mom is going to share it with me, but I'm going to taste it here for you first. So see how I love this. In the inside, I've got all those toppings, so fillings, I guess you would call them now, all in the center around this beautiful fluffy egg. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Boy, and it's perfectly cooked. So delicious. Mmm. That feta, nice and just salty. It seasons the whole egg and the mushrooms and the broccoli. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You want to try this. That's for sure. Look at this omelet. Mmm. Perfect. Or you can learn to make this for somebody. How beautiful would that be to surprise your loved one, uh, your partner, with a gorgeous omelet in the morning. Really? Breakfast in bed? Who doesn't like that? Mm. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you make an omelet with shiitake mushrooms and broccoli and feta. You can experiment with the ingredients. So, so many things can go in an omelet and they're all tasty. Mm-hmm. The egg is so fluffy. Mm. So if you're a foodie looking for another foodie, make sure you check out foodanddating.com. Should be at the bottom of your screen right now. Not only do they have the ability to chat for free with each other, but you can also find all kinds of cool videos and recipes and things of that nature. So it's a, a foodie community. Very cool. 
Anyhow, that's it, that's all. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly and YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is CookingKimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.